and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Pula at checkout for 20% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. Today, we got the Saturday morning content. We got some brand new legends. We got two Ultimate Legends that just came out, as well as two LTD Legends. Super excited because it's the return of someone that we thought we finally got rid of. A pretty cool second one and a pretty cool LTD. Now, guys, Legend Saturdays, they're usually kind of heat. Honestly, not going to lie, they're usually they're just fun. They're a lighthearted Saturday. You guys don't got school. It's a day off. You play some Madden. We get some old Legends, usually recycled, and it's a fun time. Now, today, they did drop Dickerson, which is pretty important because you guys know Dickerson has been the nightmare of the Madden community with his, uh, whatever, whatever it was, NFL 100 freight train. But, guys... Start getting into a little bit. By the way, I do want to announce yesterday's giveaway winner from the morning video. It is Jackson Henthorn, uh, like 248. Jackson Henthorn, make sure to go hit me up on Twitter, DM me directly to claim your reward. I did get in contact with the other winners already. We are working out the rewards today after this video. And that's pretty much it, guys, for that. So if you are new, by the way, we are still running the giveaways. All you got to do to enter is like the video. Every 80 likes we get will be 10,000 coins given away. So for yesterday's winner, Jackson, we'll be getting 30,000 coins, just about, a little bit more. And then as well, guys... All you gotta do is like the video, comment down below the number of like you are, and subscribe to the channel once you do all those things you are entered to win. Good luck. And guys, by the way, thank you for all the support in yesterday's gameplay. The Saquon Barkley gameplay was actually our best video of the day. You guys said you really enjoyed that, and you guys really enjoyed my reactions and kind of how it was entertaining, which was nice to hear. So for that, guys, I'm probably doing an Eric Dickerson gameplay today, so definitely stay tuned for that. If we get 300 plus likes on this video in general, I will get us a Eric Dickerson gameplay, fully powered up 99. So that's about it, guys. Let's go check out the content. I'm super excited if Eric Dickerson's for the right price, I'll go pick him up, and we can go ahead and get him ready for today's video, and then do a gameplay with him, guys, so get the, run the likes up and show some support, guys. Okay, let's get into this. I did pick up 98 overall Eric Dickerson. Now, I believe on my team, he will be a 99. He is a 9, so we have a 99 Eric Dickerson on the squad right now, boys. This card the art looks pretty weird, kind of looks like a quarterback right there. Not going to question it, though. Let's see the damage of Eric Dickerson on my team and see what he's looking like. I did have to power down quite a few things, but I'm going to have to fix later, guys, just to get the, all these power passes. I really messed up my team a little bit, but it was all worth it for study purposes. Let's go check out Eric Dickerson. Don't worry. I will go ahead and show you all the stats regularly. Regular, how do you say that word? On the auction box, you guys can see what he looks like based on my team. He gets 98 speed, 97 excel, 93 agility, 99 carrying, 73 catching, 93 elusiveness, 96 trucking, and 96 break tackle. Looking super solid. Let's go on over. He's six foot three. Let's check out his behind the card stats. He's got 81 strength, 93 agility. We saw that. Let's see. He's got 73 catching. That's kind of low. 99 carrying. That's good. Let's see. Let's see. 93 elusiveness, 96 ball carrier vision, 96 stiff arm, 92 spin, and 96 juke move. That 96 stiff arm, guys, is going to be super clutch. I love stiff arming off cornerbacks. Now, nothing else here should be that great. He has an 84 beat press, which is kind of creepy. Uh, I don't know why he has a good break press, but I guess he can run around. Oh, 64. Okay, I was going to say. That's kind of weird. Is Eric Dickerson looking super beastly? Now, compared to my Saquon Barkley, I'm going to be honest with you. Compared to my Saquon Barkley, I don't know if he's worth it. My Saquon Barkley was the same speed. Saquon had better excel, better agility, same carrying, better catching, better looseness, worse truck, better break tackle. I really don't know if he was worth it. Even here, I mean, obviously, it's not a close comparison here because all the stat comes and everything, but... I don't think Eric Dickerson's going to be worth it over Barry Sanders. It really just comes down to the chems, which I do want to show you guys real quick. It really comes down to his chems. Even if he does get the good chems, I still don't know. So he does get an extra one that he does not. Okay, he gets Freight Train 100 still, which is definitely a benefit, but it only lasts a few plays. Do not forget that. Now, let's see. In slot one, he can get... I would just put Jukebox on him in the slot one. I don't really spin. Slot two, he can get Armbar, and he can get Bulldozer. I would probably put Bulldozer on him in slot two. Wow, he gets running back apprentice. Not even Saquon got that. I wanted that with Saquon. And then over here, you can obviously get a few things. I'd probably do, in the first slot, I'd probably put, hmm, that's tough. I'd probably put Jukebox in the first slot. I'd probably put uh, Bulldoze in the second. And then I'd probably put, like, Inside Zone Guru on the third. Now, I do prefer my Saquon, I think, overall. But this, Eric Dickerson, still a he's still a monster no matter how you look at it. Now, so we have Rod Woodson up on the block right here. As you guys can see, 97 overall, Rod Woodson. Let's see what his stats looking like. Six feet tall, 94 speed, 95 excel, 96 agility, 92 jumping, 93 play rec, 95 man, 93 zone, 88 press. Rob Woodson to me is always like 
a slightly less athletic Dion, but more physicality. So if like if you took Dion and you took some of his physicality off, um, you took you added physicality, took off some athleticism, kind of what Rob Woodson would be. Now you come on down, his behind the card stats are pretty important too. He's got 83 catching, which is always super solid. I believe he's a great kick returner. Yep, he's got some decent spin and juke, and if I'm not mistaken, he should have. A pretty good hit power, 80 hit power. He's kind of like the jack of all trades. Rob Woodson's, if you want like a, a balanced scheme that can do pretty much everything out of the cornerback slot, he's not amazing at anything, but he's really great at everything. So he's kind of like a night train lane build. So compared to the newer night train lane, he'd be probably pretty similar. Chemed up and powered up, this night train, uh, this Rob Woodson would get you to about a 97 speed, 98 excel, 99 agility, just about, about a 93 jumping, 96 play rec, 99 man more than likely. 90 like seven or six zone coverage and then a 91 press pretty much is where he cap out at card super insane super great all around now is it my type of card am i gonna be picking him up probably not i think i'll stick to my night train lane uh, i'd rather just wait for a steam diamond card and then i have my Deion sanders obviously which i just have to power down to get my power pass and stuff back but besides the point i think i'll stick with Dion and night train lane probably most of the year because his uh his steam diamond card does get to a 99 overall pretty easily he's gonna be super he's gonna be super solid so Rob Woodson's great and all I don't think it's my type of card though he's amazing don't get me wrong I just don't know if I'm making the move for him now there obviously is more than here we go Eric Dickerson is up and let's check out his base stats behind the card stats 95 overall I mean 95 speed 94 excel 94 agility 96 carrying 90 elusiveness 95 trucking 94 break tackle so my issues with this card the elusiveness is super low I think the break tackle is low for Eric Dickerson and the acceleration. I really care about acceleration, and they rarely went up on that on this new card. Now, the thing about Saquon, guys, base Saquon versus base Eric Dickerson. Saquon has way more excel. Well, two more excel, but still way more to me. Better agility, better carrying, but the carrying both, they both cap at a 99. So let's go over the stats that won't cap at anything, which are going to be break tackle Saquon's going to win at, even after abilities. Elusive, he's going to win by a mile. Catching, he's going to win by a mile. Carrying the both can get to 99. Agility is going to win by a decent amount. And Excel is going to win by a decent amount. And speed's the same. I think that Saquon overall beats him just about everything minus trucking for the most part. And then you come down to juke and spin. I believe Saquon's also better at juking and spinning. The only, he is better actually. The only difference by a mile. The only difference is the stiff arm and the power back ability. Now, I'm not going to lie. Power back abilities for me have not been all they've, they're all, they're sought out to be in my opinion, guys. They're really not that great. Now, heading on to the next card is Andre Reed. Andre Reed. 97 overall wide receiver, 92 height, 94 speed, 94 jumping. Did I say 94 height? 6 foot 2, 94 speed, 94 jumping, 95 catching, 96 catch in traffic, 96 spec catch, 96 short route running, 91 medium route running, and 88 deep route running. Not a fan of the route running, in my opinion. Think that could have been a little bit better. And stack him up to my Calvin Johnson. Obviously, I don't think it would be too expensive, by the way. Stack up to Calvin. Calvin's faster by a good amount. Calvin has a better, way better jumping. Similar catching, similar catch in traffic, similar spec catch, less short route running, less medium route, way better deep route running. So pretty much if you took Calvin and you made him smaller and you increased his route running for a dip of athleticism, you get Andre Reed. I still rather Calvin, that height's insane. The speed's way better. Even Andre Reed fully powered up can only gets like a 97 speed. Calvin on my team gets to about a 98, 99. I don't think Andre Reed's end game. I think Calvin's end game. So in my opinion, I don't think Andre Reed's the move. He's like a smaller wannabe jump ball receiver when you have a guy like Calvin who's just completely other world. And I don't think you need multiple of these guys in your team. I think Andre Reed's fine with a Torrey Holt type route runner. I think that's more than okay to stack out your squad with and then a guy like Tyree Kill. So I'm more than fine with these guys as they are. But guys, that pretty much is it for this video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you're going to below. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on the noti bell. Come join the family, guys. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. All you got to do is like the video. Comment down below the number of like you are. And make sure to go ahead and make sure you are subscribed to the channel because, of course, I want to get back to the subscriber. And, guys, that's pretty much it. I did really enjoy these Legends Saturday cards today. They were super awesome. Typically, I would be picking up more of them. But, like I said, for my specific team, Eric Dickerson is not going to be necessary because I do have I do have the, um, the Saquon Barkley, which I'm a Giants fan, so I want to obviously keep him. And I think he's better. Rob Woodson just doesn't stack up for my team well because it's going to be extra coins that I need to spend. And I got to restart a power-up chain. And... Andre Reed's LTD. I don't really pick up LTD cards, but Eric Dixon is looking beastly. Definitely got to get a gameplay with him for you guys today. So stay tuned for all of that because we definitely do want to get in a nice gameplay today. Super excited to try him out. I've never used Eric Dickerson this year, guys. I know, surprising. The glitch himself. But guys, that's about it for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Make sure to smash that like button if we get 300 likes. Like I said, I will be doing an Eric Dixon gameplay in our next video. So 
Get that like button fast. You can see the gameplay nice and early. I know it's Saturday, so you guys probably waiting for some vids. I'm out. See you in the next video. Peace.